you know what? It's really cold outside. Cinematic lights on. So everything is just fine now. I need to remove my specs. Use my contacts. So here we go. Let's play some music. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends. Oh, welcome back. So this is one of those vlogs. This is one of those videos where I did not script anything. I just have a story to tell, and here I am sitting in front of you to tell you the story. So this is the story of my placement interview. So if you are coming here for the first time, my name is Tarun, and I am a final year student at IIT Kharagpur. So as you have understood, I am in final year, and the first phase of placements are over, and I got placed. And to know which company, to know my package, and all these things, you'll have to wait for that finally placed wala video. But before that, I'll just want to give you some context of how my interview went because I don't think you might have heard this kind of placement story anywhere. So just to give you the little context, I was preparing for consultancy and product roles, and I wanted to sit for these companies. But fortunately or unfortunately, this time the number of companies which came for product roles, or even the number of people they are hiring, has become like drastically less because of all this recession, because of all this. I don't know the random reasons, man. So for the past two months, uh, I, my friends, and we were all preparing, and uh, the preparation was kind of going good. Okay, so we thought, ठीक है, at least day three, day four तक हो जाएगा. That's what that's what we thought. ठीक है. And then the placements come. The first day of placements, the first day of interviews, which they call day one. And we waited till the day ends. And guess what? Day one, we did not get any shortlist. ठीक है. And then day two का morning, early morning, eight a.m. I open my laptop, see everything, and then I realized. बोलो फिर भी कुछ नहीं हुआ. ठीक है दरन. Come wait कर ले. हो जाएगा. And then day three came, and that was the time finally. फिर से नहीं हुआ सो इज लाइक ब्रो थ्री डेज आर डन एंड वॉट आर द गुड प्रोडक्ट कंपनीज फ्लिपकार्ट एपीएम के एम एंड ऑल दिस के लाइक ब्रो शॉर्ट लिस्ट इज नॉट दैट सो देन डे फोर ठीक है फोर्थ डे आई ओपन माई लैपटॉप लॉग इन टू माई यू नो ई आर पी का थिंग एंड देन आई रियलाइज फिर भी नहीं हुआ I was like, bro. So I was already kind of depressed. The expectations which I had was here, and the reality was in the rock bottom. Like, I was like, ठीक है तरुण chill so i's kind of feeling depressed day 4 and uh, suddenly a call comes to me by some random brand which i work for them and they said tarun we want you to shoot a video for us so if you're someone who's following me since last one year one and a half year jo bhi hai you know that we shoot videos for brands right so this random brand he just calls me up in the evening on the fourth day says tarun we want you to travel to kota tomorrow kya you mean tomorrow and then i asked them why they were like uh, we have some kind of event going on and we we want you to shoot a video for us interesting so i talked with them we discussed the budget we discussed the commercials and they were actually good like two days trip everything was paid from their end and then i was also getting some hefty amount so i was like bro when life gives you opportunities you should not miss them theek hai we are doing it because you never know what this can lead you in the future i mean maybe this can be the first stepping stone of you getting some bigger clients but on the other hand i also had my placements going on right i mean this was day 4 what if i get a call in the morning saying ki tarun you got shortlisted for this xyz company we want you to give the interview what would i say then so this was really risky if i go there i'll have to stay there for day 5 and day 6 and if i get interviews in between day 5 and day 6 then no one can help it even god cannot help it but then i was like theek hai bro let's take the risk let's go there if if i somehow miss the opportunity i'll come back and day 7 say i can manage that's what i had in my mind and i was like i'm coming let's do it so they book my flights uh, early in the morning 10:30 i take a flight from kolkata to jaipur so we just got on in like jaipur This is the first time that I'm coming here. From Jaipur, it was a cab journey. From Jaipur to Kota, it was a five-hour long cab journey. They booked the cab also. I and one of my uh, friends, you can say, Prashant, he was also with me. He basically came there to help me with the shoot. I and Prashant got on the cab 12:50 in the afternoon, day five. And that was the time when I opened my ERP again. Uh, maybe today I might have got some got in some shortlist or something like that. But then the internet was down, so because we were traveling, right? Calm down. Just travel. Just focus on whatever you have to go do on day five or the shoot. So I opened my iPad. I was planning stuff, what to do and what not to do during the shoot. Hey, so you remember that I was just saying that I went to Kota. At that point of time, I also played this game with JE aspirants at the An Academy Kota Center, where we divided the ten JE aspirants present over there into two teams, Team A and Team B, and we basically asked them questions, chemistry questions, and these people were supposed to find out the objects present inside the room, basically a scavenger hunt. And the video turned out to be really good, and the An Academy JE Chemistry Channel has posted. said that on their channel so i've given the link in the description if you are interested to check it out click on the link and check out that video after this video is over okay now coming back to the placement interview story let's go after 2 hours of journey at around 2 pm in the afternoon 
I randomly get a call and I pick it up. And I ask them, "Hey, uh, who am I talking to?" And they're like, "Hey, I'm X Y Z from CDC. CDC is a career development center. So he's a placecom. Placecom is the person who manages all the placements at IIT Kharagpur. So, uh, and then he says me, 'Tarun, you got shortlisted for this company, and you have your interview schedule right now.' I was like, "Bro, what? I mean, what? I was sitting in a cab, traveling from Jaipur to Kota, and then I hear from a placecom saying, 'Hey, Tarun, you have an interview right now.' I'm like." Damn man this was not at all expected during the four days when i was staying here i got no interview and then on day 5 when i was in a cab <sighs> so then i gather myself i'll be like tarun calm down 1 2 3 chalo go <sighs> hey uh but this is very unfortunate but i'm not in the campus right now so do you think can be something can be done here i mean i'm not in the campus how can i take the interview then he tells me something which was not at all expected i mean neither you nor i Not anyone in this world can expect. He was saying that Tarun, the interview is online. I was like, "Kya?" I mean, companies started coming to campus and they started taking interviews offline, right? We had to properly be on a suit, properly wear formals, and go to that Nalanda and then give our interview over there. Wasn't this how it works? Then he was like, "Yeah, Tarun, that's how it works." But this is one company which is trying to take uh, interviews online, so uh, you can't even give it from the room. But I'm not in the room. I'm traveling. So he's like, "Tarun, I'm just going to send you a link." uh so join it and give your interview all the best i mean what else do you need you have the opportunity in front of you okay you're not in the room works you're not wearing formals works but you still have the interview so the only problem which i thought here was like theek hai everything is fine but what if the internet doesn't work so i told the cab driver uh dada thoda side pe ruk do uh i guess here the internet is good i want to give an interview and that cab wala guy I, very kind man he was really 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 kind he said theek hai because see even they have targets right they have to travel from jaipur to kota in specific duration of time and he had to reach kota in by 7 pm or something like that but then he was kind enough to stop the cab side he was like theek hai ab de do mujhe bata dena jab bhi ho jaye so i was like i felt really thankful for him and uh, that was the time when i turned on the hotspot on my phone i entered the zoom meeting theek hai and every single person in that zoom meeting man like literally every single person they were wearing suit i mean proper formal tie but i was the only person over there who was wearing a black t-shirt everyone were wearing formals and i was in a cab people can easily see ki bro this fellow is traveling somewhere because side by side autos lorries and all these things are going i was like bro i i muted my and then the hr calls me so you have your interview in 5 minutes please get ready i am sending you to a breakout room so breakout room is as like a small room in zoom meetings if you do not know about it and the interview well like individual interviewer they'll come over there so i entered the breakout room i waited for 5 minutes and then this ma'am lady the first question she asked me is like uh, hey am i talking to someone called tarun yes ma'am are you supposed to be in formals yes ma'am but but unfortunately i'm not she was like i see a window beside you where are you man like what what are you doing so after she asked these questions i was like Tarun, calm down. You need to explain her what the situation is. Take care, and then I tell her, "Ma'am, this was like actually really unexpected. I'll give you some kind of overview." So yesterday evening, I get a call from a brand saying that you have been invited to an event. We need you to shoot something. So I was like, "Yeah, sure, let's do it." And I had no idea that this interview would be happening today. So uh, today in the morning, 10:50 a.m., I took on the flight. I currently I'm traveling from Jaipur to Kota, and in the evening we have the event over there, and I'm going to. like uh, going as a guest going to shoot a video so all these kind of things so i explained this entire situation and then she starts smiling she was like okay and then she says tarun listen everyone from the campus they are properly wearing formals they were in their room they are really tense they are feeling if they'll get the interview or not and here i see you a completely out of the box creature 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 do bhi hai uh, you're saying you're traveling from jaipur to kota I, i i don't know what the hell you're talking about But ठीक है Then she continued smiling for some more time, and then she was like, "ठीक है दरन, whatever is there, it's fine. Can we start with the interview?" I was like, "Ha, huh, thank you so much, man. Let's let's do it." So she asked me to introduce myself. I gave my introduction. Then she started asking me, "ठीक है, I have three questions for you." So here comes the first question. She asked me, "दरन, can you estimate the number of Hotstar subscription?" See, this is like a really standard question. If you are someone who is preparing for product or something, this you need to know how to do this question, right? So I said. This is a piece of cake. So I started giving the answer. I said the total number of population is this. You can divide it into these segments, and then this, 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 and finally I told her the answer, and she was like, "Good." She was like, "I did not expect this. I did not expect that you might have prepared for guesstimates and all, seeing the condition of you." And then I say, "Ma'am, 
that's why people say you should not judge a book by its cover <laughs> it's like and then she started smiling then she goes with the second question which is like tarun can you plan a campaign to motivate the first time voters of india to vote for or something so again this was my part of question i've been into marketing since very long i feel that i'm an expert at it so i gave her the entire plan and she was like interesting good and then she goes with the third question which is like tarun can you state this 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 and i'm like again i answered it well so that was the time when she finally asked me tarun theek hai all these questions are done now tell me one good reason why do you want this job like be honest why do you want this job i know everyone asks me the same question people usually ask me why do you want placement do you really want a job so all these questions i get this question a lot of times every interview that i get into they just ask me this question tarun genuinely ask answer this question why do you want a job i want a job what do you mean by i just don't know see what are i'm doing apart from being a student uh, they are my hobbies they are my side hustles when i first got started i started with the expectation that theek this youtube channel will grow will probably have around 1000 or 2000 subscribers by the end of the year that was all i thought about this but this started growing a lot lot more than my expectations and uh, if you properly think from a revenue perspective if you properly think from a money perspective i don't actually need this job but i've really worked hard for campus placements i mean since the first year my cg was not so bad in uh, not so good in the first year but i continuously tried to improve it i started all the way down from 6.74 to 7.11 7.57 7.98 8.11 8.55 9.19 9.00 <laughs> uh 9 uh, and then 8.78 so it, it it is a graph which continuously start increasing because i worked hard for it and keeping the academics part aside i also worked on my cv is like i joined a couple of societies i gained pors position of responsibility if you did not know and then i was also a part of college politics i was the secretary in my hall first general secretary then and then i also became the hall president so my cv is also strong so i worked for it i worked for my placements since my first year so just because i have some other sources of revenue coming in doesn't mean i have to leave my campus placements which i've been working hard since my first year so i said ma'am this is all i think about it i don't think i'm going to drop that plan of i want a placement this is what i think about it so i give this big ass explanation to her and then she goes like cool so i completely believe this okay i i clearly understood that she had this mindset if this guy comes and works then the work would turn out to be fun because this guy is fun she was actually impressed and uh, ma'am if you are watching this hi and then i finally conclude saying this ma'am uh, just give me this job tonight and i'll come to you tomorrow morning and we can have a cup of coffee she was like she started laughing a lot and then she finally tells this okay she's like theek hai darun um somehow you just pulled off your first round of interview congratulations for that and you've been shortlisted for the next round just be careful how the second round goes because let's see then she says all the best she leaves and i come back to the main zoom meeting i wait there for a couple of more minutes and i felt the interview actually went well and then she tells darun you have your second round uh right now all the best so i was feeling tense again i was like bro if i crack this second round one thing is that theek hai I'll, i'll get this job and it's good but the second thing is that this will be one of the best stories that i can tell on the internet or i can tell myself after 10 years 20 years ki tarun how did you how did your placements go i have this beautiful story right so i did not want to miss this opportunity at any cost so i entered the second round he comes uh, he says uh, hey tarun uh, i can't see you but i was thinking i can see myself then i thought okay maybe some internet issue or something so i said sir just give me a second i'll rejoin this meeting and then i dropped off from the meeting and the internet just got vanished i mean the internet just got vanished from the place and i was like bro i'm not able to enter this meeting right now i mean the first round well really good and the second round i'm not even able to enter this meeting so i directly opened my whatsapp i texted in the group tagging one of the place come saying hey i just dropped off because my internet is uh, messed up could you please give me like 2 minutes i'll join it back and he was really good he told theek hai i'll let me talk to them and he talked he said theek hai just join whenever your internet is back see man place comes despite the fact however the placements went this time i know you guys literally put in a lot of work uh, you guys literally try your best to get all of us placed so thank you so much so see see if any of the other audience they are watching this just go to the comments below say thank you place comes or something like this because man i know you have spent some countless number of nights sitting in that nalanda and also thanks thanks to the entire team and now coming back to the story Uh, so I dropped off and uh, I changed my internet from Jio to Vodafone because Vodafone is also there. So then I joined the interview back and then I was like, "Sir, my internet just got dropped off." He was like, "Okay, I understand, but where are you?" I was like, "Sir, I'm traveling from Jaipur to Kota. Don't you know that your placements are going on?" "Yes, sir, I do know, but 
I did not expect that I'll have this interview today. I can see this guy, right? He's kind of pissed off that I'm not really serious for the placements. I'll obviously have this impression on him that, bro, this guy is not even serious for the placements. So if he's not even serious for the interview, how do you think that this guy will be serious to join the company and to start working with us? So I'll have this impression on him, right? Even this guy had a similar impression on me. At least I felt it. Then <coughs> he's like, "Fine, Tarun, uh, whatever it is, let's get started with the interview." Fine, sir. So he asked me to give the. uh introduction i give my introduction then he is like uh, fine did you practice guest mates i like yeah i did so then he asked me the question ki tanu can you estimate the number of trees present in iit kharagpur this is is a piece of cake right so then i start answering this question sir iit kharagpur is approximately 2100 acres so now let's divide it into two parts one is the civilized land where uh, we have buildings where we have roads where we have lath and all these things and the other part which is not cultivated by anyone which is not civilized which is just random forest random trees here and there so let's have a approximate percentage of 70% uh, not civilized land 30% civilized land and then you added to the previous so overall i gave him some number and uh, he was like good and then he's like yeah darren it's fine i mean you're done with the, we are done with the interview uh, you can leave right i mean is my interview done he's like yeah it is done then i go like okay fine uh, so do you think i could have solved the previous question in a better way like did i miss anything or something then he's like no it's it's perfect interesting so then i say oh, thank you so much sir and i leave the breakout room i come back to the main meeting room and uh, i tell the hr or ma'am jo bhi hai tell her ma'am my interview is done oh can i leave so she is like are you done with the both interviews is like yeah so i left the interview first interview went really good but round 2 pata nahi bhai agar ho sakta hai nahi ho sakta hai, i don't know finally i reached kota i enter this random mall at 8 pm in the night uh, i announced some kind of meet up so people started coming in so everyone who came to kota that day thank you so much for coming uh, so we meet at mcdonald's people say taran we want a treat we want a treat so i was like yeah just order we kind of were having fun people started clicking pictures people started coming over there and there is this uh, very cute girl small lady girl uh, she is in class 11th or something uh, she came to me she is like taran i have a gift for you i was like what gift like yeah then i open it she like hand me everything she have she gave me a card uh with something written on it really good it was it felt really good that day thank you so much if you're watching this thanks a lot so in a complete nutshell i completely forgot about i had the interviews in the afternoon i came here i was living in that moment people were there so it was 8 10 pm in the night and suddenly out of nowhere again i randomly get a call like i was between like many people were there i was just sitting over there i randomly this, get this call again i say hello and then the other guy says tarun uh, you have been shortlisted for the final round and you have the final interview right now i was like bro are you kidding i mean are you for real he's like yeah darren you have the interview right now then i say when he's like in 10 minutes what i'm between people then i go okay thank you so much bye bye everyone were there but like around me okay i was like bro there internet how can i give the interview right now so then i told this prashant prashant was there with me right i told prashant ki prashant i have the interview right now uh, i'll go out you take care of all these things so i turned to everyone i tell them you guys continue having food okay i'll join you in a couple of minutes i have the final round of my interview right now then they were like acha okay all the best so i say bye bye i'll see you back i go to this fire exit literally fire exit of that mall i sit over there i open my laptop hotspot again trying to enter the meet and then this watchman randomly comes to me and says bhai aap idhar nahi baith sakte ho dada interview hai abhi like final round hai 5 minute mein bich chala jaunga dada main samajh sakta hu but idhar to nahi baith sakte ho aap idhar se chale jao please mujhe abhi answer karna padega aap chale jao 5 minute mein ho jayega interview hai final round dada aapko kya bolu main theek hai aapka interview hai to aap andar chale jao na andar se de do interview लाइक दादा मैं समझ सकता हूँ बट अंदर बहुत ज्यादा आवाज है ना भैया मुझे तो कुछ नहीं पता बहुत ज्यादा डेंजरस लोकेशन है ये एंड यूजुअली इधर कोई बैठ नहीं सकता चले जाओ अंदर चले जाओ प्लीज मतलब मैं और कुछ नहीं कर सकता हूँ आप तो अंदर चले जाओ प्लीज लाइक अच्छा ठीक है ठीक है मैं अंदर चल रहा हूँ तो आई वॉक इन ही ऑल्सो वॉक्स अलॉन्ग विथ मी देन इज एस भैया मैं तो आपको एक सजेस्ट कर सकता हूँ सो इज इज लाइक आप फिफ्थ फ्लोर पे चले जाओ उधर तो कोई नहीं रहेगा आप आराम से दे सकते हो इंटरव्यू लाइक ठीक है दादा आई टू कॉन्ट टू दर्स went to the fifth floor and then i sat over there opened the laptop enter the final round and this hr is like really cool okay he just goes like taran uh, let's see how we can use your skills uh, in our company because you have never really hired someone like you so i guess this would be a really good collab i let you know i mean i'm not really sure how this goes i was pretty sure right now ki theek hai i'm going to get the job so i close this laptop i go back to the people uh, and people are already gone because i told prashant ki bhai thoda sa late ho sakta hai tell everyone to leave so i sat at mcdonald's again 
I ordered food and then I got a call from VP saying Tarun you have your job I was like acha thank you so much <sighs> so here I realized two things okay first thing is that when you want something in your life the entire world supports you with it something like that it goes something like this no so i really felt it see first things first i was not in the campus i was traveling even if i got the interview shortlist the interview should have been offline and i should have missed this job right but then first thing is that the interview became online and the second thing is the cab driver wala thing see he had to reach quota by 7 pm or 6 pm but then he was kind enough to be like theek hai dada aap de do de do uske baad dekh lenge second round of interview he was kind enough to understand acha theek hai he's now traveling it's fine see i can easily leave this interview right so i just go back to the campus after day 6 or uh, day 7 say i can sit for some other interview i i could have done that but i i did not leave the chance which i was thrown it so i wanted it and the entire world supported it i i don't know if i'm being overly optimistic here but that's what i felt and the second thing is that when life gives you opportunities never miss them see like i don't think this might have happened with anyone else uh, previously i mean this is one of the weirdest placement interview stories that someone can ever hear i i fucking cracked the placement from the cab man like do you understand so i guess that is it that is it for the entire story and just wait for that finally placed wala video to know everything about how i prepared when i prepared what when did i leave software engineering ka placement what are all the factors which were affecting me uh, how did i go through break up because that was also one of the things which was happening during this only overall i mean this is like really weird that is it for this entire story and if you are someone who's looking for the best notes to prepare for itj you can always join the telegram group i've given the telegram ka link in the description that's all for this video bye bye See ya, love you. Yo, microphone check, make it a microphone check. Give it a microphone, I make the make it a microphone dead. Don't step to me, newbie. I could truly be moody. I could have played the fucking Grinch in the movies. I've been a 